Welcome to the video help series for the Energy Rating Product Registration System. In this video, we are going to show you how to complete the payment page of your application. This only applies to applicants registering products in Australia. First, let's look at the registration fees that apply for each product. Each product regulated under the GEMS Act in Australia has a particular registration fee according to the fee band that it falls into. These are shown on your screen now. Please note that GST does not apply to registration fees. Renewals of registrations incur the same fee as the initial registration fee. For family of models variations or upgrade registrations, there is a fee of $210. There is no fee for change request variations. The system accepts payment through credit card, debit card or prepaid credit card from the providers shown on your screen now. There are surcharges that apply to these payment types as advised by the Reserve Bank of Australia and these are shown on your screen now. GST does not apply to these surcharges and they will automatically be applied to your total registration fee when you enter your card's details. Please be aware that our policy is not to provide refunds for registration fees due to an applicant mistake such as trying to register an out-of-scope product. Please ensure that the product you are registering is in scope. That is, it is actually required to be registered and all of the details in the application are correct before you submit your application. Refer to your product's determination or standard to determine if your product is in scope. If you need assistance in determining whether your product is in scope, please contact our energy rating team. We will now go through the process of paying our registration fee in the registration system. The payment page allows us to pay our registration fee through a secure online payment facility. As we can see on the page, the payment status indicates that our registration fee is currently unpaid. So let's select Proceed to Payment to pay the registration fee. On the Manage Payments page, we see a list of all our unpaid applications. To pay for one or more applications, we select the tick box next to each application we wish to pay for. We then select Pay for selected applications in bulk from the drop-down menu above and select the Go button next to it. On this page, we need to confirm the applications that we're paying for. These are listed in the table on the left. We then select the Confirm Payment button to continue. A card payment section now appears. We enter our credit or debit card details in this section using Visa, MasterCard or American Express. Notice that when we enter our card details, the total amount we're paying is adjusted to include the surcharge that applies for that card type. Once we've entered our details, we select the Pay Now button. A loading message appears and the payment section briefly goes blank. It's important that we don't refresh the page or navigate away from it while the payment is processing as we may end up incurring multiple registration fees. A message then appears confirming that our payment was successful. To view confirmation of our payment, we select the View Receipt link. To download a copy of this receipt, we select Click to Download next to Tax Invoice at the bottom of the page. We have now paid the registration fee for our application. If our payment is not successful, we will see this error message stating there was an error processing our transaction. We need to take note of the reference number for this transaction included in this error message if we need to follow this up with the energy rating team. We select the 
View Transaction Information link to find out more information on the error. On this page, we can see the list of applications included in the bulk payment and a red box containing details on the error. This red box specifies the message that was received by the registration system from the external payment gateway when the payment was attempted. Depending on the error that shows, we may need to contact both the energy rating team and the company who issued our card in order to resolve the issue. In this case, however, our payment was successful, so let's look at what happens next. If we go back to our application, we can see that our application has automatically been submitted to the regulator for approval. And that's how you pay your registration fee in the registration system. For further assistance with using the registration system, select the Help tab at the top of any page to go to our Handy Help section, where you can find more videos and step-by-step -step guides to help you navigate any aspect of the system. If you cannot find an answer to your question, why not send us an email? Simply select the Contact Us tab at the top of any page and fill in the form. The more details you provide, the more we'll be able to help you, so please include all relevant details in your email, including any attachments that might be useful.